In this video, we review how the enthalpy depends on the conditions. All right, at constant composition, the enthalpy is a function that is going to depend on the variables that define the physical state, and those are going to be temperature, pressure, and volume. Uh, now, those three variables are not independent of each other as long as we are at constant composition, and that means that you really only need to study the dependence of the enthalpy with two of those variables in order to understand uh, how it varies with the conditions. For convenience, we're going to choose to study the dependence of the enthalpy only on temperature and pressure, and that's because uh, temperature and pressure are the variables that are easy to control in a laboratory. Okay, so uh, to start with, we're going to be looking at uh, how that enthalpy is going to depend on temperature and pressure. <coughs> All right, so, as always, every time that we study the dependence of a function on its variables, we take first derivatives, all right? So let's try to examine here what the total derivatives of uh, the enthalpy uh, written like that uh, will look like. Okay, so, well, you're gonna have first derivatives with respect to both um, variables. So let's write here pressure at constant temperature. And then we're gonna have here uh, the first derivative of the enthalpy with respect to temperature at constant pressure. All right, so uh, let's try to see what uh, each one of these first derivatives is. Uh, this one we are familiar with. That is the heat capacity at constant pressure, right? How the enthalpy changes with temperature at constant pressure. That is the heat capacity at constant pressure, which we have seen uh, before. Now, this is a, a much more unknown term, uh, which we're going to be developing in the rest of this video. Now, to figure out how the enthalpy depends with uh, uh, on pressure at constant temperature, we're going to be using here uh, the Euler chain rule, okay, of first derivatives. Let's see how that works out. All right, so here's the Euler chain, uh, chain rule for uh, enthalpy, pressure, and temperature. Okay, so the product of these three first derivatives, uh, P with respect to T at constant enthalpy, and finally, uh, the derivative of the uh, temperature with respect to the enthalpy at constant pressure, okay, this is equal to minus one, okay? All right, uh, so, well, um, our goal is to try to uh, figure this out, and, and what we're going to try to see here is, well, what is the meaning of these other first derivatives that appear in this expression? All right, so uh, to make headway with that, we're actually going to solve for uh, what we're interested in, which is the variation of the enthalpy with a pressure at constant temperature, uh, and then uh, this is going to be simply one minus these two first derivatives. All right, so uh, here we go. Uh, derivative of pressure with respect to temperature at constant enthalpy, and then temperature with respect to um, enthalpy at constant pressure. All right, great. So um, what we're actually going to do is, is uh, uh, apply here the uh, reciprocal identity rule of first derivatives, uh, where I can bring uh, this uh, first derivative, partial derivative, in the denominator to the, numer uh, to the numerator, uh, but uh, uh, the derivative flips. Okay, so let's see if we can do that uh, uh, carefully here. So again, I can bring that up, but it's going to uh, reverse, right? So that would be the partial derivative of the enthalpy with respect to the temperature at constant pressure. Okay, so that's that. And I can do the same thing for this one, where I can bring it to the numerator, uh, uh, but that first derivative kind of inverts, right? So that would be the partial derivative of uh, the temperature with respect to uh, pressure at constant enthalpy. Okay, so uh, here we go. All right, so, um, this looks uh, a little better uh, because these are known things, right? Notice that what you have right here, this is simply the heat capacity at constant pressure, right? That's the variation of the enthalpy with respect to temperature at constant pressure. We already know that. That is the heat capacity at constant pressure. And this is a new term, uh, which is called the Joule-Thomson coefficient, okay? Mu JT is the uh, Joule-Thomson coefficient and this is something that we're going to be studying uh, in a future video. Okay, but for now, we can simply uh, consolidate this term and say that, well, uh, all these first derivatives that you have right here, which is what we wanted to study, that is simply the minus product of this Joule-Thomson coefficient 
multiply by the heat capacity at constant pressure. All right, so uh, we're kind of here ready to wrap up this video by just writing uh, exactly that uh, uh, variation of the enthalpy with respect to pressure and with respect to temperature. Right, one with respect to pressure is going to be your minus joule Thomson coefficient multiplied by the heat capacity differential of P. And of course, the variation of the enthalpy with respect to temperature is just the heat capacity at constant pressure. Okay, so that is the variation of the enthalpy with respect to uh, the conditions, which in this case we've chosen to make those temperature and pressure. In the next video, we're actually going to sink our teeth into this uh, joule Thomson coefficient and uh, we will be able to see uh, uh, what is the meaning of this coefficient, how do you actually measure it, and whether there are applications in real life uh, that allow us to see this, this type of Yule-Thompson effect.